Hello, everybody. I'm back. Uh, mixed up some of my white resin over there, and it's a little bit on the thick side yet. It's been on the it's kind of cold lately. You know, and I keep that stuff over there in that corner. All that is, I fill this pan up with some warm water out of the faucet. It ain't cold enough to break out the stove yet. I just gotta warm that stuff up just a little. No, I won't soak into the cloth right and uh, be hard to spread. Okay, we are ready to roll. Now what we're gonna do is just lay a nice, heavy coat of resin on top of this cloth. Let it soak in. Then we're going to put another layer of light cloth on it. And then you just gob it. Just let her soak. Got all them corners real good, all my dots. I've already got two layers of cloth on my edges now because of the way I did it. That seems to be what thickened up a little bit, more than the resin. Then tomorrow afternoon we should be able to take my parting planes off, flip it over, get it off this bench, and uh, start on some parting planes the other side. Won't have as many to do on the other side. It's really up front here and that end. That'll be easy. Then we'll get the other side laid up. Then we got to do the, the ends and the bleeding ends. They won't be bad. With this first coat, you don't want to be stingy on the resin. Because you're actually trying to put enough down for this coat of resin, and I'm going to lay another coat of cloth on. I mean, for that layer of cloth, and to kind of saturate the next layer too. Then I could just spread it down with a squeegee. See, I got a double layer on here already. Jason in Australia said they was loading their jets up. I guess I was cooking dinner. So about five o'clock here was about oh it was before noon. They was just loading up to go flying today in Australia. Cause I think ain't it when it's winter here, it's summer in Australia. Ain't that how that works? They said they was going to go load up and go fly. And they was just heading out when he called me. And what do you want to bet? They 
didn't take us no pictures. Ain't no one sending us no pictures for our website. Not a one. Can you guys believe it? The hours I put in, no one person loves me enough to send me a picture. One well, poor me. The guy who invented Philovision. <laughs> hey, that's going to give someone an idea. And they're going to invent that. Shouldn't I get a cut of that? Since I came up with that idea first. Whoever comes up with Philovision will be a rich man. Man, I'm sweating. You wait, I bet there's someone working on that Philo Vision right now. And where do you think they got the idea? Right here in the shop. Yeah, to mix up some more resin, people. So yeah, I go about doing that. I'm pouring these cups out of that bucket. These cups here. Makes it a little easier to mess with. Oh yeah, that's standing up nice. And I'll come over here. Now this resin was 100 parts to 25 parts. So I'll throw in 100 grams or 400 grams of resin. That'll give me a Pretty good size bucket. That's what holds it together, but as you get older, the roots get thicker and better. Four hundred grams of resin. What you can do. As you grow older, and discard all the one hundred grams insights that you had as a boy. And the method of hardening tends to put you back on the track to enjoy what you do. Let's just set that in there for a minute. Do, 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 do. Man, that was 500 ounces of uh, resin. 500 ounces of that white stuff got me all the way to here. But it's soaking into all this cloth, see? So we're looking at about 1,500 grams, I mean not ounces, grams. About 1,500 grams. Per coat. <laughs> Don't forget I got that thicko stuff to throw on here. Thank you. 